portions of Etowah County, heavy rain showers south of Gadsden. Also, some broad uh, areas of scattering showers now developing west of Lewisburg and Pulaski all the way down to Russellville. This entire area is drifting off to the east very slowly this evening, so it's scattered showers possible the next few hours. What's after that? We'll talk about that, your forecast, and where Ernesto will go and how it will affect North Alabama in a few days. That's in a few minutes. Now the news is on your way. Coverage you can count on. This is Way 31 News, first at four. Good afternoon, everyone. I'm Sharon Jovius. And I'm Craig Boswell. Glad you could join us for Way 31 News, first at four. And topic first at four this afternoon. More than seven years after his arrest, Jason Sharp is one step closer to learning his fate. The jury in his capital murder trial is now deliberating. 29 year old Jason Sharp is accused of the rape and murder of a Huntsville nurse, Tracy Lynn Morris. Testimony in the trial has been at times graphic and emotional. Investigators say Tracy Morris was stabbed 37 times. It happened back in 1999. Both the defense and prosecution wrapped up closing arguments today, just before noon. If convicted, Jason Sharp could get the death penalty. A bank robbery adds more urgency to an already hectic lunch hour today. It happened at the Alabama Credit Union on Whitesburg Drive. Police say the suspect is armed and dangerous and may have run into a nearby business or apartments after robbing the bank. Officers dusted the doors for fingerprints and canine units also scoured the area. The police dog did uh, re respond to a T-shirt that had been found in the road that is believed to belong to the suspect. The FBI has released these surveillance photos of the suspect in the robbery. They believe he may be the same suspect wanted in a bank robbery several weeks ago. An off-duty University of North Alabama police officer is in trouble with the law, and he's out of jail this afternoon and now is now resigned from the UNA Department of Public Safety. 54-year-old Thomas McFarland is accused of holding his wife hostage for several hours Sunday night. McFarland held Lauderdale County deputies at bay for more than three hours before he surrendered. His wife managed to escape unharmed. We'll have more on the story in a live report at 5 o'clock. There are major new developments surrounding John Mark Carr this afternoon. TV station KUSA is reporting the DNA sample taken from Carr is not a match with the DNA found on John Benet Ramsey. Another station is reporting that Carr will not be charged in the death of the six year old John Benet. Carr is due in a Boulder, Colorado court in less than two hours. An employee of Huntsville based Intergraph Corporation is among the 49 victims of the commuter jet crash in Kentucky. The company's CEO says Rebecca Adams was killed when the plane went down in Lexington, Kentucky on Sunday. It has been called the worst air disaster in the U.S. in almost five years, and human error appears to be the cause of the crash this morning. All right, the Com Air, uh, the Com Air um, flight was uh, taking off from Lexington, Kentucky, and crashed, killing uh, all but one of the 50 people on board. Jim Weeder has the latest from the crash scene. Lexington Airport officials confirm the taxi route for commercial jets leading to the main runway at Bluegrass Airport was altered just last week. Federal investigators will review that modification because it may have confused the flight crew. Com Air 5191 took off Sunday morning using the wrong runway. The flight crashed seconds after takeoff. And there's nothing on the air traffic control tapes about uh, runway 26. And there is nothing on the cockpit voice recorder referencing runway 26. All the conversations on the CVR and on the FAA tower tapes reference runway 22. The commuter jet was fully loaded with fuel for takeoff. It went through an airport perimeter fence, broke apart, and burst into flames. The coroner says most of the victims most likely died in a fire. The process that uh, we are undertaking at this point involves performing autopsy examinations to collect evidence to help us determine identity and also to determine the cause of death. Among those who died Sunday, newlyweds on the way to their honeymoon. The co-pilot remains in critical condition at a local hospital and cannot meet with investigators. However, the cockpit voice recorder was recovered and it documents the pilot's final words. Jim Weeder, ABC News, Lexington, Kentucky. NASA has scrubbed tomorrow's planned liftoff of the space shuttle Atlantis. NASA managers are expecting a visit from Hurricane Ernesto. The delay is frustrating attempts to complete the International Space Station. Gigi Stone has more. Ernesto put a damper on the space program's plans. 
NASA managers are giving up on a Tuesday shuttle launch. They're preparing to move Atlantis indoors to protect it from the storm. We did uh, get a change in the forecast from the National Hurricane Center this morning that had us even a little bit more concerned, even more concerned about Ernesto. This would be the fifth time NASA has had to remove a spaceship from the launch pad because of bad weather. The decision postpones the launch for an uncertain period of time. NASA officials are holding on to a glimmer of hope. They say since it takes a full day to deconfigure the shuttle from launch mode and start moving it back to the hangar, a liftoff is still possible in September if weather conditions change. So we're executing the plan. We do have a couple of uh, gates that we can go through and, and stop the plan if, if we decide that, that the condition of Ernesto says that we can stay out at the launch pad with the vehicle, which in my mind is, is uh, unlikely. The launch originally had been set for Sunday. NASA delayed it after lightning struck the launch pad Friday. They wanted to make sure there wasn't any damage to the pad or shuttle. The shuttle's six astronauts are scheduled to take a 35,000-pound power module to the International Space Station. It would be the first mission devoted to construction of the space station in nearly four years. NASA plans to start moving the shuttle to safety early Tuesday morning. Whether it can launch within the next week will depend on Ernesto's path. NASA was hoping to launch by September 7th so it doesn't interfere with a Russian space mission. At Kennedy Space Center, Gigi Stone, ABC News. Well, as Florida prepares for Ernesto, thousands of people are, make, are marking the somber one-year anniversary of Hurricane Katrina. Tomorrow marks one year since the storm devastated New Orleans. Yanji Denise has more. When President Bush arrives in the Gulf Coast today, he'll find that parts of the region brought to its knees by Hurricane Katrina are still there, and that frustration is running high. We fill out the paperwork. We talk to them weekly. Every week there's a different person on the case. That sort of disorganization impacts not only recovery, but preparedness for another storm. If there were a hurricane, would anything be different? The Army Corps of Engineers say the levees are stronger today, but dozens of other engineers have their doubts. We can expect another disaster, a uh, rupture of the walls and again catastrophic flooding. But not as many people would be impacted at this time. Only about half of New Orleans residents have returned since Katrina struck the city. Whole neighborhoods like the hard-hit Lower Ninth Ward are largely abandoned. I would love to come back and live here, but not only the bad memories of my own right here in this spot, it's the whole city that is going down and just the surrounding neighborhood. How long is it going to take all that to get back to normal? President Bush will arrive in Biloxi, Mississippi today for lunch with community leaders. Then after surveying damage, he'll head to Louisiana for dinner with state and local officials. Maya Kalicki, ABC News, New Orleans. All right, well, there's more ahead here on Way 31 News. First, let's check with Brad for a look at the forecast. Well, scattered showers developing ahead of tomorrow's cool front that will come through, and it will actually be a cool front. will go from the 90s to the 80s. A first look at Storm Force 31 live Doppler radar, and this shows us that we're seeing these scattered showers near Pulaski and Lewisburg. Nothing that's tremendously heavy as far as severe weather goes, but some pretty good downpours briefly near Pulaski. Now, all this stuff is sliding off to the east-northeast at around 10 miles an hour. Southern Middle Tennessee, your rain is imminent. North Alabama, you may have to wait for tomorrow. Talk about your forecast and look at Ernesto on this hot day outside. Coming up next. Closed captioning is brought to you by Jerry Damson Auto Group. Everyone knows about Lee's Magic Tunnel Car Wash on South Parkway. But if you're in a big hurry, check out our new Lee's Express on North Parkway next to Krispy Kreme. It's the $5 three-minute Lee's Express wash with free vacuum. Plus, you can get Rain-X, Armor-All, and even Tricolor Wax, all at the brand-new Lee's Express wash on North Parkway, next door to Krispy Kreme, across from Costco. Huntsville loves Lee's Express. Before you fire up the grill for a backyard barbecue, see the newest and tastiest summer recipes from Weight 31 and Ziggler Meats. Log on to WaitTV.com and click on the Ziggler Meats recipe link. Jalapeno thick burger, fries, and a soda, and another soda, and maybe one more soda. The Jalapeno thick burger, new at Hardee's. Storm Force 31, the most accurate picture, is on your way.
Now through September 5th only, get new 2006 Ford vehicles with 0% financing for 72 months. That's right, 0% over six years on new 2006 Ford cars, trucks, and SUVs. Or get up to $7,000 cash back. Either way, you'll also get five years, 60,000 mile extended powertrain coverage. But hurry, these incredible offers end September 5th. Visit your neighborhood Ford dealer and see why more people have chosen Ford in 2006 than any other brand in America. Hi, Dave Ingram, Mako Collision, representing Huntsville and Decatur, Alabama. We are a family owned and operated business. We're committed to pleasing our customers. We offer quality repairs at reasonable prices. And you're looking for the right company to fix your car? Trust me. If you've been in an accident and you're unsure of what to do, please call us. We'll be glad to help you. Uh-oh. Better get Mako. Tonight, one year after the devastation, the loss, the ruined lives, Charles Gibson returns to the Gulf Coast. Find out what's really happening on the ground now. From rebuilding to the levees to the fate of evacuees. Katrina, where things stand on World News with Charles Gibson. Now, Storm Force 31 Chief Meteorologist Brad Huffa with your simple and accurate forecast. And when looking at the satellite picture today, what we're seeing, scattered clouds, areas of rain showers, some thunderstorms, mostly across parts of Kentucky and Tennessee. Although in North Alabama, some widely scattered showers have been developing, or at least trying to develop. And meanwhile, we're also seeing this large mass of clouds here. There's a cool front that is pressing down across the nation's plains. And that cool front finally pushes this way tomorrow and gives us a pretty good shot of some pretty good rain showers, right? Not drought-breaking rains. That's going to take several weeks or months. But a couple of good showers here and there can't hurt us at all. Looking at the satellite picture with the lightning flashing on it, uh, some sporadic lightning shots right now across parts of North Georgia now. Some hit or miss lightning strikes as well up across some of the rain showers in portions of Middle Tennessee. But, of course, all eyes are farther down south. We'll take a look at Ernesto in just a moment. Looking at the local radar, satellite radar picture showing some widely scattered showers developing in Lawrence County. They have since dissipated, moving into Morgan County. Scattered showers as well right now, moving into sections of southern middle Tennessee. Giles County now approaching Lincoln County with some brief downpours. Etowah County, you're seeing rain showers now near Gadsden, pretty heavy. Tropical storm Ernesto with winds of now around 40 miles an hour. A minimal tropical storm at that being torn apart by the island of Cuba as the storm continues to move across Cuba is still causing a threat to parts of South Florida. And residents there, of course, are especially and from the Florida Keys are packing up and moving inland. A very uh, uh, familiar sight from last year. Andrea Canning reports. With the threat of Ernesto looming, Miami residents lined up to buy gas, groceries, and plywood. Can't never be too safe. And began an annual Florida tradition, boarding up homes and businesses. I'm going to go crazy. I live on the water, so my work is cut out for me over there. I got two acres of land to take care of, plus a big house, and I haven't even started. I'm just getting my food provisions in now. I hate hurricanes. Tropical storm Ernesto moved over Cuba Monday, and forecasters say it could gain strength over the Gulf of Mexico and make landfall in South Florida as a Category 1 hurricane as early as Tuesday night, exactly one year after Katrina pummeled the Gulf Coast. Florida has been hit by eight hurricanes over the past two years. Monday, Governor Jeb Bush urged residents to prepare themselves well in advance and declared a state of emergency. A hurricane's a hurricane, and it has devastation that um, we've already seen. All you have to do is to rewind back to last year and know what a Cat 1 can do in terms of devastation for the community. At the order of the governor, tourists in Key West cut their vacation short. We're just trying to get a flight back to Atlanta because of the evacuation for the visitors and non-residents. Still, some say they will take their chances. I think it's going to go north to the Bahamas, and we should be all right. <laughs> You're optimistic. I'm very optimistic. NASA was forced to scrub its Tuesday shuttle launch, prepared to move Atlantis into its giant shelter at Kennedy Space Center if Ernesto continues to threaten the mission. Andrea Canning, ABC News. 
And here's the forecast for Ernesto. Look down south on the far corner of your screen. Now, there are two forecasts on this map. This is the National Hurricane Center forecast, which has Ernesto moving inland south, uh, south of Miami across the eastern Keys. And as that storm moves inland and continues along the eastern coast of Florida, uh, it remains a Category 1 hurricane with some heavy rains, but less devastation than could happen if this storm goes up the west coast. And that is the forecast from the model you see on the bottom. That's the Barron Advanced Meteorological Services model that we use here at Way 31. And as uh, that storm, notice it just veers it just slightly off to the west, causing the storm to remain just off the west coast of Florida, causing some very heavy rains and very strong winds as a Category 1 hurricane across the west coast of Florida. And where you want to be with reference to the center of these hurricanes, you want to be to the left-hand side instead of the right-hand side. If the hurricane center's forecast is correct, the heaviest winds stay offshore. If the BAMS model is correct, heaviest winds stay right along the west coast. There's a lot of residents there, and that could cause a lot of storm damage and some flooding as well. Your real-time forecast for us as the storm goes by, you may see a passing shower Thursday, but tomorrow morning starting off in the mid-70s. Highest tomorrow staying in the middle 80s with a northerly breeze coming in behind that cool front, which will drop us down from the current temperatures in the mid-90s to tomorrow's highs in the mid-80s. Again, widely scattered showers still southern middle Tennessee. 92 degrees in Florence, 94 Decatur, Huntsville, 93 now. Dew points right around 70. Westerly winds have been breezy today, and it's been a very muggy day as well. Overnight tonight, 73 degrees. Lingering showers, otherwise cloudy skies. Then for tomorrow, expect to see temperatures right around 85, with a good chance of scattered showers from about noon on for all of us in the shoals, maybe as early as 10 o'clock in the morning. Wednesday, 85 for a high. Scattered showers, thunder showers uh, begin to diminish. Thursday, 86 degrees. A good chance of some heavy downpours in the northeast Alabama mountains if the storm takes that westerly track I was showing you a minute ago. For the rest of us, it'll just be a breezy day on Wednesday, on Thursday as Ernesto goes by. We'll talk more live at 5 and 6, guys. Okay, Brad, thank you very much. Well, long hours at the office and the link to high blood pressure coming up in your medical minutes. Stay with us. Home is a Labor Day cookout. It's a family get-together. It's Uncle Clint eating too much potato salad. Home is here. Oak Express and Bedroom Expressions, where Labor Day means the first time ever offer of no payments and no interest until 2009. And everything is backed by our 200% guaranteed lowest price pledge. This Labor Day, the savings are here at Oak Express and Bedroom Expressions. Home to two great wood specialty stores in one location. Now featuring cherry, maple, pine, and more. For over 15 years, practicing psychiatrist Dr. Keith Ablo has reached out to people. The thing that really moves me is helping people confront the painful issues in their lives. Starting September 11th, he reaches out to you. I'm used to trying to not feel pain. What's the source of your pain? I would like to find out. It doesn't take years of therapy to change your life. It just takes the right moments of understanding. Make an appointment. The Dr. Keith Ablo Show. The stars hold the secret to your future. Get your personal daily horoscope by picking up your cell phone and texting the message STARS13 to 40100. Find out what the stars have to say about your money, your love, your relationships. Pick up your cell phone and text the message STARS13 to 40100 and get your personal daily horoscope. Find out the answers to your questions like, is today the right day to dump my boyfriend? Should I really be looking for a new job? Should I stay with my old job because a big raise is on the way? Should I tell my boss I have a problem or wait for a better time? Find out the answers in the stars by texting the message STARS13 to 40100. It's just that simple. Text the message STARS13 to 40100 and you'll never have to wonder again about what to do. It's simple. Just text STARS13 to 40100. That's STARS 13 to 40100, and you'll always be up to date with the STARS. Homemade lasagna, a meal that can't be rushed. Well, now everything you love about the taste of lasagna is on a pizza. Mamma mia! Look at that. Introducing the new Sicilian lasagna pizza for Pizza Hut. Hearty beef topping and a blend of mozzarella, creamy ricotta, and Parmesan cheese. All on a seasoned crust. It's just ten ninety nine. dollars Why you don't make beef like this? Go for the good stuff. Right now for just five bucks more at any medium one topping pizza. Long hours at the office may put your health at risk. A new survey links long days at work to high blood pressure. 
Students across the country are shopping for back to school supplies, but many incoming college freshmen are scrambling to find a vaccine that could save their lives. Bacterial meningitis is an infection of the fluid around the brain and spinal cord. It kills one out of every 10 people who get it and leaves others deaf, brain damaged, or needing amputation. Common symptoms such as stiff neck, high fever, and a headache warrant a doctor's immediate attention because early treatment is essential. Fortunately, the disease is rare, but college freshmen are six times more likely than others to contract it because dorm room living helps spread the infection. The U.S. government recommends that all college freshmen be vaccinated against bacterial meningitis, and some colleges now require it. But doctors and clinics across the country are experiencing a major vaccine supply shortage during the back-to-school rush. The vaccine, Menectra, was licensed just last year by the FDA. Because the vaccine is fairly new, its maker can't keep up with demand. The government suggests that doctors give college kids first priority for the vaccine. With this Medical Minute, I'm Dr. Timothy Johnson. A, stack of your, a check of your stocks rather straight ahead on first at four. What happened backstage with Dick Clark at the Emmys? Also, Matthew Perry, Eva Longoria, the pride at red carpet moments only we can show you. And breaking Chambonet news from Boulder, Colorado. Next Insider. Now that it's summertime, here at Kroger, we want you to know our family is ready to help yours with whatever summer fun you're planning. Whether you need quality meat for grilling out, delicious chicken and sandwiches for a picnic, fresh produce for that special salad you always make, or things like picnic supplies and sunscreen. We have it all. It's all the best quality, all at great savings, so this summer, stop by Kroger. Right store, right price for summer. There are things I'd rather climb besides a corporate ladder. I will invest in my future and my wardrobe. Some of the best decisions I make have nothing to do with money. I'll create my own lanes in life, and all of them will be fast. You're more than money. We're more than a credit union. Join Lister Hill Credit Union, and you won't be a customer. You'll be a member for life. And along the way, our financial professionals will get to know more than just your account numbers. Lister Hill. Join us. It's easy. What do all three of these have in common? They have the advantage, the lowest price, America's best warranty, and the Bentley reputation. Because that's what brings you back. The Bentley Hyundai Advantage. Whether it's the Hyundai Elantra at 10980, the Sonata at 13980, or the Tucson at 15980. All nicely equipped. Nobody beats a Bentley deal. Nobody. Hyundai makes the car. Bentley Hyundai makes the difference. On University Drive, east of Jordan Lane, Huntsville. Some companies monopolize on your needs, sometimes railroading you, or leaving you feeling like you're playing a game of chance. Buying a home is no time for trivial pursuits. Instead of taking the risk, call on the proven professionals at RISE Real Estate. The associates at RISE can even help you find the right financing. Millions of families have had their dreams come true. Don't you think it's your turn? Let RISE show you the way home. Entertain the tonight's Emmy Night event. Mary Hart backstage with Dick Clark. News on the spelling cue. Plus, inside E.T.'s party with Prince. And Kojo's best and worst dress next E.T. People always ask insurance guys, when can I get my car back? Well, a lot faster with this Sprint Mobile broadband card. I can instantly download customer data, file the claim, and handle more customers per day. Do more with Sprint Mobile Broadband. So when can I get my car back? Well, Sprint Business gives you the power to make just about any place a workplace. Get a card for $49.99 with an unlimited data access plan after mail-in rebate. Visit Sprint.com slash business. Stocks rose as energy prices tumbled and Walmart reported better than expected sales. That ease concern the economy is slowing so much that it will hurt corporate profits. Energy prices retreated on signs that tropical storm Ernesto won't hit oil production facilities in the Gulf of Mexico. And at the closing bell, it was a rally on Wall Street. Stocks rose, but it was the third slowest full trading day this year on the New York Stock Exchange. NVIDIA, that's the number three computer graphics chip maker, gained after a broker said it may supply equipment for a new version of the iPod music player.
eBay and Google helped push up computer shares after the two signed an online advertising agreement. And in the energy industry, Kinder Morgan accepted a $15 billion buyout offer led by its co-founder. Finally, DuPont will phase out fixed benefit pensions for nearly 30,000 employees in 2008 in favor of an enhanced 401k savings plan that will help DuPont reduce retiree costs and boost profit next year. At the New York Stock Exchange, I'm Deborah Kostrin with Bloomberg after the Bell Report. Join the Rock Family Worship Center September 7th through 10th for Radiance, a women's conference empowering the young and old to see who they are through his eyes. Conference host Lisa Nelson. Special guest speakers Lisa Bevere, Kimmy Searcy, Eileen Hunt, and Susan Dyer. The cost is $50 and includes lunch Friday and Saturday. Call 256-533-9292 or register online at therockfwc.org. Now, through September 5th only, get new 2006 Ford vehicles with 0% financing for 72 months. That's right, 0% over six years on new 2006 Ford cars, trucks, and SUVs. Or get up to $7,000 cash back. Either way, you'll also get five-year, 60,000-mile extended powertrain coverage. But hurry, these incredible offers end September 5th. Visit your neighborhood Ford dealer and see why more people have chosen Ford in 2006 than any other brand in America. Hi, I'm Miranda Meek, and I'd like to invite you to watch the Home Builders Show Sunday mornings at 8 a.m. on Way TV. We'll be introducing you to some of the finest home builders in North Alabama, Red Rock Homes, Alabama Heritage Homes, and Mark Harris Homes. They'll be taking us on a tour of some of the floor plans that they have to offer, as well as giving us expert tips and advice. You can also check us out on the web at waytv.com. I hope you'll join me Sunday mornings, 8 a.m., right here on Way TV for the Home Builders Show. Hey, it's our friend Bob. Looks like Bob continues to enjoy the big lift he gets from Insight and natural male enhancement. With over 10 million packs sold, Insight is firmly the number one selling brand, bringing true natural male enhancement to men all over the world. Now you can join Bob and the millions of men who fully enjoy the benefits of Enzyte. Just call or visit Enzyte.com for a sample pack of the strongest, most powerful Enzyte formula yet. Enjoy the full, robust confidence that only Enzyte can provide. If you've ever been curious about natural male enhancement, there's never been a better time to try a sample pack of Enzyte. Visit Enzyte.com or call toll-free for a sample pack. Call right now and you'll also get two free packs of Enzyme Topical Rush. With an offer this big, it's enough to throw a parade. Sample packs are in stock now and shipped to you within 48 hours. Offer only good while supplies last. Limit one per household. Enzyme, the once daily tablet for natural male enhancement. Let's talk again about Ernesto and where the storm looks to be going now versus the forecast track from another computer model that we use here at uh, Stormforce 31. Looking at this storm as it moves across the uh, sections of South Florida by about Wednesday morning, Tuesday night as a Category 1 hurricane, then we're going to be seeing uh, this storm continue to move up the east coast of Florida with a National Hurricane Center forecast. However, the other forecast that we use here at Way 31 is put together again by a company called Barron Advanced Meteorological Services, and that actually puts the track a bit farther to the west, and that keeps the storm in play across portions of West Florida into West Georgia and may give Alabama a chance of some showers. More details live at five, guys. Thanks, Brad. Thanks for watching. First at four. Home is a Labor Day cookout. It's a family get together. It's Uncle Clint eating too much potato salad. Home is here. Oak Express and Bedroom Expressions, where Labor Day means a first time ever offer of no payments and no interest until 2009. And everything is backed by our 200% guaranteed lowest price pledge. This Labor Day, the savings are here at Oak Express and Bedroom Expressions, home to two great wood specialty stores in one location, now featuring cherry, maple, pine, and more. Homeowners, if you have doors that rub, if you have cracks over your doors in your sheet block or ceiling, you have a settling problem. If your floor sags or dips, if things shake or rattle when people walk through your house, you have a settling problem. Stop this problem now before it becomes an expensive problem by calling Economy Floor Supports today. 830-4942. We're locally owned and operated. Huntsville's number one floor support company. That's 830-4942. Let us prove to you that Family Hyundai has the best deal in all of North Alabama. We will not be undersold. 
If you want to get the best value for your money and accept the Hyundai Challenge, come to Family Hyundai in Florence. We offer the best overall warranty in the car industry, 100,000 miles or 10 years powertrain, and 5 years, 60,000 mile bumper to bumper. And we have the absolute newest technology available to keep your car in excellent condition. We will not be undersold. Family Hyundai, Florence Boulevard in Florence. Storm Force 31 is weather coverage you can count on. From the Shrine Auditorium in Los Angeles, welcome to the Insider at the Emmys. The Emmy people call the nest. Dick Clark, fragile, confined to a chair, and struggling to speak after...